Tonight, a father and daughter are trying to pick up the pieces after a fire damaged their South Baltimore home early this month. WMAR 2 News' Aaron McPherson found out the man who owns the home is a disabled veteran. Franklin May was honorably discharged as a United States Marine. Now he lives in his South Baltimore home, a place that was his mother's before she died. He's holding on to every piece that's left and hopes to one day pass it down to his daughter. Soot covers the stone, debris fills the street. This is the aftermath of an electrical fire at a South Baltimore home. The wall just exploded. Right there is all my dad's stuff that was in the front bedroom. And we had a lot of smoke damage upstairs in the middle room. Shirley May has lived in this home for seven years with her dad, Frank, a Marine Corps veteran. They told us if we get the, um, the windows and the roof secure that they would take the vacate sign off of it. Even though the sign hangs in the window, Frank refuses to leave. Because I got nowhere to go and it's my house. So to me, this house is empty. He doesn't want people to come in and basically take the little bit of stuff that we do have left. So he's staying put with no electricity, living on the first floor where the fire didn't reach. Now the windows are fixed and the roof will be done next week. The big issue now, all this debris left over. The night of the fire, the fire department told me that um, they would actually get somebody to come out and clean up everything. And it's been about going on almost two weeks and nobody's came out. The Baltimore City Fire Chief says the fire department sent a ticket to Public Works to clean up the debris. Some of the burnt furniture was spray painted with the date 1126. DPW tells me they're looking into it. Today, Frank's neighbor, Jennifer Guy, did what she could to help, posting in the community Facebook group. I was asking for, you know, what what's the best deal that anybody can give so that I can help and pitch in and anybody else that I've heard that says it wants to pitch in can pitch in to help with that cost if needed. She says this is her way to return the favor. Just always looking out and, you know, making sure, just being that watchful eye. He sits outside a lot and just observes, so he's just always looking out for everybody. The May family is grateful for everything the community is doing to help. I never expected as many supporters and everything that we have. Once the debris is cleaned up, Shirley says she can focus on getting her home back. Start working on the inside of my house to get the electrical back up and so that we can live there and make it a home again. A few hours ago, DPW told me they were checking on the complaint about the debris. Now, I haven't gotten an update from them yet. Now, the Mays didn't have homeowners insurance, making this process a little more difficult for them. So if you'd like to help them out, there's a GoFundMe on our website, WMAR2news.com.